And the KWO movement or whatever the fuck it is, if it's a YouTube channel, I don't even know because I don't pay attention to it, all right? Something happened. Apparently, a YouTube channel was shut down. Someone's personal information might have been leaked. Something might have been attacked or something happened behind the scenes. And somehow, the KWO, who apparently are, you know, the anti-DSP group and they hate my guts or whatever, somehow the YouTube channel went away and it kind of, like, disbanded and disappeared from the internet. Now, immediately, people start saying, it was Phil. Phil did it. He's in cahoots. He was working with a fan, and they did it. They hacked an account, and they stole the information, and they revealed this guy's personal information. Phil was in Seattle house hunting, doing absolutely nothing, knowing nothing about it. I had nothing to do with it. I don't give a fuck, okay? I said at the beginning of this year, I don't care about that shit anymore. I'm focusing on my own content, staying positive, pushing forward positively. This Seattle trip was the perfect example of this. I was so disconnected. I didn't give a shit about YouTube, about any of it. All I wanted to do was be in Seattle, look for houses, do some tourism, see the area, see if it's somewhere I want to live, and upload a couple of vlogs. That's all I did. That's all I cared about. And that's why I said I was so happy I was disconnected because if I were here working and I had to hear all this shit coming around me that this was happening and that was happening, I would, I would, I would, it's too much. It really is too much. So, of course, immediately, whenever whatever happened, happened because I'm still not clear on the subject. Everyone accused me. It was Phil. He was behind the scenes. He was, he, he had put a fan up to do it or something. And so it was, it was his plans that while he was in Seattle that he would shut down all his critics. I don't know where people get this shit. It's obvious that they're all wearing their fucking tinfoil hats to protect them from the space aliens that are going to control their brains because they concocted these crazy conspiracy theories when in reality I had nothing to do with it and I didn't even know what was going on. Okay? But now... Now I know what the State Alchemist program really is. You're using it as a way to recruit your sacrifices. Well, I'm not gonna let you use me to accomplish your sick goals. I resign my title as a State Alchemist. The symbol of a dog, fittingly crusted with blood. Your plans are gonna fail. I swear on my own grave that I'm gonna stop you. I'll warn the other State Alchemists. I'll tell them- What was that lovely young girl's name again? <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. It's Winry Rockbell. <gasps> your auto mail engineer. And you grew up with her in Risenbull as well, if I'm not mistaken. She's practically a family member, isn't she? I've heard that she's made quite a name for herself with her customers in Rush Valley. Such a sweet and trusting girl. <clears throat> you stay away from her! Just leave her out of this! Well, that's up to you. If you'd rather not take it, then I will simply have to cut her down.